God, we come together to remember your Son and his sacrifice for us. Today we remember his life, which offered hope for every human need. We give thanks that through him there is rest for the weary and strength for the weak, love for the lonely and acceptance for the rejected, healing for the broken and comfort for the grieving. We remember his death which offers hope for our spiritual need. We give thanks that through him we have mercy and forgiveness of sin, assurance in doubt, and life after death. Thank you for the gift that is ours through Jesus, the wondrous hope of the world. Amen.
One day, as John the Baptist was with two of his disciples, Jesus walked by. Look, John said, the Lamb of God. When they asked where he was going, Jesus said, Come, and you will see. So they followed. One by one, he found them. Come with me, he said. And they left their work and followed him. Wherever he went, Jesus invited them, the weary, the burdened, the sick, even little children. If you are seeking, you will find what you're looking for in me. Come to me, he called, and I will not turn you away. He is still calling today. Christ reached out to the forgotten and the unwanted, embracing the poor, the grieving, and the hopeless. He said, I will never abandon you or leave you lonely. Very soon I am going to prepare a place for you, and when it is ready, I will come back for you and take you there to be with me. A father to the fatherless and a defender of widows God places the lonely in families. He makes a home for the homeless and leads the prisoner from darkness into freedom's light. 
He hears the cries of the lost and is close to the brokenhearted. In his arms, there is hope for us all. As the Passover neared, Jesus made his way to Jerusalem. Word had spread that he had brought a dead man back to life. So when the people learned of his arrival, they quickly lined the streets to see him. Some of them hoped, while others already believed, that he was indeed the Messiah. They welcomed him like royalty, spreading their coats on the ground and waving palm branches in the air. Running along beside him, they shouted, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to our king. But the religious leaders were upset and grumbled. Look, he has mesmerized them all. And they began plotting how they might get rid of him. Hosanna, 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 Hosan
Later in the week, Jesus and the disciples gathered for the Passover feast. While they were eating, he told them, One of you will betray me tonight. In disbelief, they asked themselves, Am I the one? Jesus took a loaf of bread and broke it, saying, Take this bread and eat it. It is my body which will be broken for you. And then he took a cup of wine and he said, This is my blood which will be poured out to forgive the sins of many. Drink it and remember me. The next time I share it with you, it will be at the table in the kingdom of heaven.
after the meal, they went to a place called Gethsemane, where Jesus asked them to keep watch. Kneeling in the darkness, he prayed, Father, if there is any other way, please choose it. Yet even though I ask, I will do whatever you decide. When he returned, the disciples were asleep. Can't you wait with me for one hour? He asked them. Then he prayed a second time. If it is possible, take this bitter cup away, but I will drink it if I must. Jesus returned again and told the disciples, The time has come. Get up. My betrayer is here. No sooner had the words left his mouth than Judas arrived with the soldiers. As they arrested him, the disciples scattered in fear for their own lives. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed.
night, the religious leaders questioned him, but Jesus refused to answer the charges against him. Frustrated, the high priest finally asked, Are you the Messiah, the Son of God? Jesus replied, I am who you say. At this they found him guilty of blasphemy, which carried the death penalty. Some of them spit on him and beat him with their fists. Others slapped him in the face and mocked him. You are a prophet. prophecy. Who hit you?
It was traditional to release one prisoner during the Passover. So the next morning, Pilate brought Jesus and a criminal named Barabbas to the people. Who should I release, your king or Barabbas? he asked. Barabbas, they shouted. And what should I do with Jesus? Pilate asked them. Crucify him, they answered. So the guards took Jesus away. After they beat him, they put a purple robe across his back and shoved a crown of thorns on his head, laughing at him. Then they nailed his hands and feet to a cross and crucified him. Looking at the crowd, Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. And the Lamb of God cried out and died for them and for us. There is no greater love than this, to give one's life for one's friends. Even on the cross, the arms of love are open wide. In their silence they are saying, Come to me, all of you, and find what you seek. I will not turn you away. In his arms there is room and hope for all. <laughs> 